Hi, everyone. Hope you guys are having a great evening. You know, I am as well, even though there are troubled times in other countries and America and so forth. <laughs> Such a sad, sad thing. Uh, may whoever passed away from any sickness or war, uh, may they rest in peace until the day they come back to life again. That is always a great hope, you know, uh, I would think anybody passing away, they didn't want to die, you know, anyway, and didn't want to have trouble come in their lives, whether it's a sickness or a war or anything, the loss of having money if they had it before, or not having enough money, uh, you know, and the hope that they'd have a place to live and not to be out too cold, too hot, or weather, you know, they would just like to stay alive and survive, you know? When I go through tough times, I always think, God, I gotta have trustworthy good thoughts to stay alive and survive and be trustworthy to others. And that is always a good thing to do and be, whether you're going through a sickness or not, or at war or not, uh, defending yourself, or defending your country, you know? Uh, who knows? about anything, you know, whether the person is the enemy, to be trustworthy as much as you can, but not to be the wrong type of trustworthy, you know, and if you're doing wrong, and you're, th you're thinking, I shouldn't be doing this, this is wrong, you know, uh, just try to be trustworthy not to do wrong things anymore, or too deadly of things, and stuff like that is always a good thing to do, and always a good thing to be. It's like when other countries, you know, might think other countries are doing wrong, you know, and then a war starts, they want to find out, you know, did that country do wrong to anybody, you know, and stuff like that. How can they solve this situation if the one country thinks this information is supposed to be confidential and, and not spread out through everywhere, you know, they should find their own information instead of going after their information, you know? Um, maybe that's what uh, some people go through, whether it's with sicknesses, wars, or anything, you know what I mean? And it's like, if you can't have somebody's information, why keep going after it, you know? Uh, you gotta learn to find, to have your own information to succeed in life and, and take advice from others and be trustworthy. Somebody, sometimes you just got to give people the right to be confidential, especially if they're not doing any wrong or any harm to anybody, you know, it's their information. That's what they should get to keep. And you have, would have your own information about what you learn about the thing uh, that you wanted to know about. That, uh, of course, other people who made the same thing are not, you know. And it is always good um, to keep trying, you know, if you're homeless or anything, to succeed in life. You don't have to be, you know, to stay alive and, and survive, you know, and do the right thing. Be trustworthy to others and to yourself to stay alive and survive try to be money conscious at the high price of everything it's hard to be money conscious if you have no money whether it's stolen or just blocked out because sometimes that happens to people you know they get too tired of work get fired from work or whatever and they might not have did anything wrong you know they work hard every day but some mishap like that happened and maybe they'd never be able to work again so hopefully they find some other type of work to do for example and um, you know it's tough out there trying to find a job if you're not up to it or whatever situation you're in until you get up to working again if you like to do that that's how you naturally are I'm sure um, jobs will open up about what you would like to do and want to do especially if you're trustworthy and you know 
um, things like that. Well, anyways, I have hope to stay alive and survive, whether you're, you have a sickness, you're homeless, or at war, you know. Always try to be trustworthy. Do it without fighting, you know, arguing. Just try to keep your mind calm. Why? If someone wants to start an argument with you, just don't argue with them, you know. Just don't let bother you and go on your way. Well, I suppose I better be going, but I do have a question. Well, maybe not a question, but some type of comment. If you guys could please try to calm your minds, no matter what situation you're in. And if things are too tough, you know, stay alive and survive. And be without war, you know, be without arguing if you can, you know. And stay alive and survive. Make peace with each other. At least calm your minds towards each other. No matter what you've gone through or been through. No matter how different it is for the other, but the same, because it's tough. The sickness is tough to go through, a war is tough to go through, and so it's homeless and whatever else that it can pertain to that it's tough in everyday life and unexpected and expected to have some type of everyday life uh, and to stay alive and survive to the sickness, the war, uh, the arguing, or the homelessness, whatever it pertains to, is done with to your and other people's lives improved and don't have to go to that tough stuff anymore. Thank you, and have a good one.